We have a pretty, uh, pretty big discovery that has just come in. I was looking at some uh, Stereo Core 2 imaging, and uh, this was from January 1st, 2018, the beginning of the year. Just give me one second. I'm going to go ahead and share this information right here so everybody can join us. Yeah, I'm going to give you my take on this because I've had a lot of scientific help from Dr. Elbers and she has done a phenomenal job in opening up my eyes to a lot of the, the dynamics of the sun, stars, and planets. So I wasn't expecting to even see or make a sighting of this object until, you know, probably around the 6th, 7th, 8th, or 9th of January, because that's how my timeline was working out. But, you know, I'm not a super mathematician in any sense of the word, so, you know, trying to plot these types of orbits with a lot of unknown factors is pretty much almost impossible. So you're at a little bit of a guessing game. You're using some of your own theory. And theoretics, well, I mean, that's science. You have to theorize something first, and then you try to prove it. So, I wasn't expecting to see this object on the first. And we had a coronal mass ejection. It was a small one, but it was enough for me to detect this object once again. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm telling you straight from what I know, telling you straight from my heart, this object is absolutely massive. Massive. You know, it's very hard for us to try to calculate its actual size, but putting together all of the data that I've discovered and Dr. Elbers has helped me out with tremendously, there's a, a very big possibility that this object is anywhere between three to five times the size of the planet Jupiter. Okay, and, and regardless of your educational level, regardless of your knowledge of the stars and the planets and the solar system, you cannot even fathom in your mind how big Jupiter is. Unless you were in like a, you know, a little mini spacecraft and, you know, you were like the, uh, the, the space satellite Cassini and you were actually going out there right next to Jupiter and you were able to see it with your own eyes. So what I'm saying is you can't even fathom how large Jupiter is. And for another object to be out there near our sun that is possibly three to five times the size of Jupiter, well, that's just a whole new ball game. And folks, you're going to find a tremendous amount of people out there that will say this is absolutely impossible. You know, you're a liar, you're this, you're that, you're, you're scamming people. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I have no reason to scam anybody. And I can really give a care less about what other people think. Because they're probably making these types of remarks because number one, they're uneducated in the matter. They just don't know what they're talking about. Or they're so far behind that they really need to catch up. And maybe their eyes will open. You know, we're going to be in for a very, very rough year in 2018. The way things are lining up right now, I mean, we're probably looking at every single month major cataclysms around the globe, intensifying and increasing. And here's a very, very vital point. If you personally think that nothing will ever happen to you where you live, well, listen, brighten up and think again. Because... We as human beings and even the most educated scientists on this planet still do not understand completely the dynamics of Earth, our planet. And they sure as hell don't completely understand the dynamics of our sun, our solar system, our galaxy, and definitely not the universe. You know, these people can talk a big game, but when it comes right down to it, they don't know as much as they perceive themselves to, uh, to show. I'd 
found that out over the last several years. There are a lot of people out there that want to stop the flow of the information. They do not want you to start paying attention to it. They do not want you to get yourself in depth in it because whenever you start to study something, you become knowledgeable of the subject. You've heard me say it before. Knowledge is power and they want to take that knowledge away from you. They do not want to give you any more power. So, you know, my message is we have to keep on moving forward. We have to keep on sharing the information. And listen, I've been getting a lot of comments and a lot of emails and people are telling me, you know, look, Scott, I, I, I try to share the information. My family thinks I'm nuts. My friends think I'm crazy. My coworkers don't pay any attention to me. You know, folks, the only thing that I can say about that is if you give it a shot and maybe, you know, you bring it up in a conversation and somebody puts you down, even if it's your family members, I'm starting to think that there are people out there in the world population that, that are going to be the enlightened ones. And then we're going to have a vast number of the world population that is so far dumbed down. So then, Scott, just to help you out, here's some pretty pictures. This is Earth next to Jupiter to scale. I think everyone can appreciate how much bigger Jupiter is. And of course, with a little bit of jiggery-pokery, we can demonstrate how big a three times Jupiter planet would look. That's pretty big. And if we go all the way to the five times Jupiter size, that's bloody enormous. And I don't think anyone will misunderstand just how big that is. Do you? Or would you prefer just to call everyone who has an idea of what reality is a liar? You moron. And folks, you're going to find a tremendous amount of people out there that will say this is absolutely impossible. You know, you're a liar, you're this, you're that, you're you're scamming people. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I have no reason to scam anybody. And I can really give a care less about what other people think because they're probably making these types of remarks because number one, they're uneducated in the matter. They just don't know what they're talking about. Or they're so far behind that they really need to catch up. And maybe their eyes will open. Well, it could actually be a good reason for people calling you a liar, Scott. And that's because you're talking complete and utter bollocks and you know it. You just won't listen to anyone who knows any difference. In fact, you prefer to pull them down, say they are not educated. But all this knowledge is freely available, easy to interpret, and I'm doing more pictures just for you. I mean, here's my telescope. I like looking at the stars and sun and the moon. What's not to like? I've even managed to image Jupiter with its moons. Anyway, Let's move on to a nice picture of the sun, with Jupiter next to it. And then we'll increase to three times. That's pretty big against the sun. And if we go to five times, that's bloody huge. And you're saying people can't see this from Earth? You have got a major problem. Your brain is talking bullshit that reality just cannot support. You really need to get a grip. Or come up with some super duper splendiferous way of explaining why no one can see it. And please bear in mind, if I'm taking pictures of the sun, the moon, stars and chemtrails, 
and a problem and your solar shield's too ungainly to actually exist or even have been built by now. So the reason you're about to give has got to be phenomenally good. Good luck with that, moron.